with everybody doing this um, co staying at home and uh, social distancing and all that, um, Tabletop Simulator, uh, or TTS as it's known online as well, uh, through the forums and Facebook and all that, has become pretty popular. Tabletop Simulator, uh, it's on Steam. Once you load it up, this is the screen you get. Um, if somebody is going to invite you to a pre-made game, they'll send you an invite. Uh, you, you're just going to alt-tab back into Steam and hit uh, and uh, accept their invitation. Or if they tell you what the name of the game is going to be, you're going to hit join. In this case here, uh, you know, if, if I'm told it's going to be Mordo, it'll show up here. I can just join it that way. But there's a bit of prep work that you got to do um, beforehand. Uh, All right, and because uh, I had to just show those quick screen grabs because my video recording software won't do anything outside of uh, an app running application. We're going to uh, load up one of those beautiful tables that we saw. So we're just going to do this, a single player here. We're going to grab any one of these tables. Let's just grab this one here. And so here you go. Here's the table. Uh, it's ready to go just as is. Um, some people have it set up where there's uh, different bags. So this one already has order dice, pin markers, objective markers, and templates. And then all you got to do is uh, add your own stuff through the saved objects, which we're going to go in through shortly. Uh, Mitch is going to show us. Uh, Mitch Reed from No Dice No Glory is going to join me shortly, and we are going to go through. Uh, the finer details of manipulating these objects so that you can play a tabletop game uh, virtually. All right, well, Matt, thank you for joining me here at this uh, table. So I know you already went over all the stuff you need to download, but now we're actually in one of the downloads that you showed everybody how to make. Yep. And the first thing you need to do, if you, you could do this on your own, but if you're doing this with somebody else, like you see up here, Mount Varnish, you want to promote Matt. Always down for Promo a promotion. Always down for promotion. Okay, so what do we have here? What does this look like to you there, boss? So we have a table, and we have some models. We have some tokens. Mm. We got an army. We got an army. So what you need to do before you get here, Matt, is you need to go and build a force. So key thing here, folks, is you got to have the books. You got to know how to make a list. You, for the most part, you have to know the stats of all your stuff. The, all this does is gives you a sandbox. So let's go over a British Army list here, and let's, let's talk about what we see here. Here we have British, Canadians, and if you notice, Matt, they're in the right color green. Oh, they are? They are. And what else do we have? We got Paris. Okay. And here we have the order dice. Uh, what's this? Australian infantry. And Australian MMG. Now you see here, there is no AT gun. You'd have to go snipe it from over here. Oh, look, desert rats. Okay, so so, so when I pick when I pick up a model... And I want to yes. pick off, how do I pick off just the, uh, what is that, a six-pounder? Captured six-pounder? Everybody knows. Well, and that I don't know. Okay. I am sure there's a way to do it. Sure um, but if you need that six-pounder on your Canadian list for Northwest Europe, you're going to have to suck it up. Or you just go and find another so mod that another has object. it. Okay. Yes. So, so just... Just to reiterate, this these this is just the models, and mm -hmm. then I would put my mo put the army that I want up in a corner, right? So, yeah. Let's. Why don't we just do that? So I I picked out my army. Okay. And remember, these guys are all armed. How you make your list? Because everybody here is a veteran bolt uh, bolt action player. Yeah. So let's we're let's just, go make. We're just we're just noobs at this interface. We are. Oh, my guys fell. Should okay. I take a Cromwell, Cromwell or a Comet? Uh, Cromwell. 
Yeah, take that. Um, and you make you make your list. Like I said, we're just playing around here, so we're not actually going to make a full up list. Um, but, but here's mechanic, minefield. But mechanics wise, so let's say this is my list here, and I've highlighted everything. Yes. Plus the dice. How do I then save this so that when you and I are in a game, I don't have to be at this screen, and I can just go, boom. Well, here's the here's what I, I want. So go ahead. Well, thanks for it. asking me that, Matt. Yeah. All you need to do is drag and drop it, highlight it all. Okay. Right click, save yeah. object, and you yeah. give it a unique name. Now remember, once you save this, you could pull it up at any time. Do I need to Start. worry about the root folders? No. Nope. So I would say Cromwell, whoops. Cromwell it's just Canadian list. List test. Yeah. Well, I'm going to name this, and that, that way we're in, we're in the actual battlefield. We'll pull. Yeah. Use the settings as an example. So it's just, it's yeah. safe. That's it. Right. You just move it over. Now, do you need to actually build your army here? You don't. But you need, you know, your riflemen, your SMG, your piots. You need all that stuff. Because you can always, let's say I need more order dice. You can right click, you can copy, and then you know you do the old control V and just make a ton of dice. Okay, so then because I know there are some uh there are some of these army tables, like mm -hmm. say bolt action, it'll be just one of everything. So let's say on the off chance I needed uh more than one of these, so I'm just gonna do it myself here. Boom, boom. So if I want a four half tracks, there I go. There you go. Sweet. Okay, so then, and then once I have my, so once again, there's no auto saving, so that this base army list, I'm just thinking of this right. as like what this is, what's in my bag. Yes. This, this never changes. This is just what I'm pulling. So if I'm pulling it out. Okay. So when we leave this, when yeah. I leave this, and I come back to it the next time, it's not going to look like this. It's going to look It'll how be, we first. Okay. Perfect. When we first came in. That's what I wanted to know. So it's good to know that I can't screw it up. All right. Wonderful. No, you can. It won't let you screw it up. So now we've saved. Yep. So now let's go get some Germans. Sounds so I'll be right back with some Germans. Good. All right, Matt. So this is a bolt action, like this, call a comprehensive table here. Mm -hmm. So the last one we were at, as everybody saw, it was really just British forces. But here, it's kind of like we have a little of everything, don't we, Matt? I see Italians. I see Flosher Jaegers. I see, yeah, I see a little bit of everything. I see bags, tokens. Oh, this ammo box is sweet. Yeah, this one has, like, everything. So I know you're scrolling around. I'm looking over. So I have on this side Russians, U.S. So it has airborne, heavy, wow. So, so I, I think just, this I is could, like I the could, mother load. So I could just grab all of these, I guess, if I tilt my camera a little bit better here. Yeah. And so, each one of these I could save as just a distinct army, right? So I could just go grab all of these. Oh, no, it's it, it only does a couple of them. Just it only does a couple. So just build your, you know, your army list. So you hear I'm putting guys from German here on the board. But this guy has everything in this one. So let's thank him. And this Africa was, core. This is called the comprehensive one. Yeah, this Africa core is what I'm going to want. Yeah. All right. So it's there. Oh, I got some Falsham Jaegers. Wow. Uh, look at all these half tracks. Nice paint jobs. Here we have some Italians. So, so, so what's again. neat. Go ahead. So what's neat about this table is everything you kind of need, you can mooch off this table because the table we're going to show you that we're going to set up our armies on is a lot better than this one right matt right and well, you also don't have to build it but let's let's talk about that here for a second so if you go in there's plenty of pre-built tables some of them are just beautiful this one you'd have to go into and matt you see that little terrain crate there yeah right click okay. on that bad boy and hit search And tell me when you have it up. Holy jumping. Chickens. Yeah. So you have, and all you do is you take that, like this chicken, and you put it on the table. 
And there's the ch you see the chicken right there at the crossroads? Yeah. Chickity, chickity, chickity. But it it has two hundred and a hundred and fifteen different objects you could put on the table. Oh yeah. It has so rock piles. So, so this is a mother load. So I can set up, can you set up a table and save just the table? Or would, yeah. I, would I pull this item, this terrain crate, and then I go to oh yeah, that's wicked yeah. The church there. So and then I I how I rotated the church is by Q and E. But remember, if you're building your own table, folks, highlight it and hit L. Because then you can't knock it over with your, your toys. Oh, okay, so when I'm moving miniatures around it, I don't accidentally grab it and move it. Yeah. Okay. And then you see here, this building, not really, um, Can I can't move into it. So you, you kind of have to simulate that. But you see that little uh, yeah. AT gun hanging off? There you go. Nice. Uh, what else we have here? Uh, we have this that everybody needs to save. It's called the die roller. I'll so, bring it out. So, so saving is just as before. I copy it. Yeah, yeah. All you need to do is copy it. Like you see this this well, no, terrain no, 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 crate no, no, here. But, sorry, hang on. It's save object, right? Yes. Okay. Save so, object. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, and, and same thing with my army's dice bag. I would, like. Well, obviously I'm going to search. Obviously I'm going to save this. Uh... Okay. But remember, if you're highlighting, if you're dragging and dropping a bunch of things, and you hit save object, it's going to save it, unless you change the name under the name of the last object you touched. What's this little digital doodad here? Turn yes. counter. Looks like yeah. Yes, but every table has those. Okay, so and you don't you don't need to even go into. You can also go into objects, components, and you can just search for a turn counter. But okay. like here, you have all of this really neat stuff. And you just save it. And you see here, there's some charts. So a lot of cool things in here. Okay, so that's cool. So now that we know, we can come to this one here grab our terrain that we want for our board. So it's literally, so Tabletop Simulator is really just an interface. It's still a tabletop war game because you have to set it up. If you want one the way you like, you still have to set it up. You still have to pop out the miniatures. It just allows, like for example, you and I to play without me having to drive 12 and a half hours to, uh, for a game. So we can just play it. Oh, this one here. Uh, so these dice bags, I think, I think it's pretty self-explanatory now that you just hit this one here and I'll highlight it. Um, you grab your models, save your list that you've already made on paper, and then go to play. So why don't we go to that other table and then I can bring forth my list. Well, Matt, uh, we loved this table the other day, didn't we? Yeah, this is pretty slick. Why don't you take them through the table? Show them some of the, the cool things in this bad boy of a table. Because I can't see what you're looking at. So, yeah. I'm, you know, so, we've so got, you're going to have to describe it. We've got a statue of Lenin. We've got yeah. a uh, wrecked out uh, T-34. We've got yeah. <laughs> a, a crashed JU-82, uh, uh, JU it looks like. Um, perfect spot for like a sniper or something like that. Uh, what else do we have factory. in the middle of uh, June in uh, Virginia and uh, Ottawa? Not snow. Yeah, I got snow and fog, don't we? Yeah, we got snow and fog. There's the uh, fires and I know there's electricity. Yeah, by this bust out trolley even down here. Yeah, it's pretty neat. The, yeah, it, it's it's pretty slick. So this is a fantastic table. Um, I don't know who did it, but thank you. And it's called Mesa Stalingrad when you go to look it up. But as we were talking earlier, it's devoid of any armies. So here's where the work that we did before. So, okay, this this one is good. It's got the rulers and the dice roller already built in. Yeah, that's so, cool. That's, that's your what's side. In the, hang on. What's right. in this one? I don't know. I'm hang on. That was your side of the table. I'm over here. Doesn't make a difference. So blank thing of a bob. All right. Yeah. So, not... so now I'm gonna bust out. Uh, so it's objects, saved objects, 
And then here's all the stuff I had before. So I'm going to need dice bag. Well, this dice roller has the Africa core symbol on it. So yeah, we'll take that. And here's the miniatures. Whoops. Uh -huh. Some tokens. And in case we need more terrain, pitch that over there. But I don't think we'll need it. I don't think we need it. No. If he knows everything's floating. I don't Ooh. know why that is. I don't know why that is either. Yeah. So I'm going to set my army up here. Um, let me see. So I'm going to go to objects, saved objects. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't remember what I saved it as, but I'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I do love this table. Um, it's, it's I recommend it. Yeah. Oh, here it is. So here's mine. Look at this. Where's your sideboard? Oh, let's see. Let's scroll and look what I got here. So I got the dice. They're in the air. Pans are four long. I've got some here. Yep. Got a MG34. It looks like. Um. Obviously, we're not going to go through the entire game because playing the game, everybody should already. Know everybody how to should play know it. how to play the game. Uh, however, in terms of manipulation, um. Yeah, I don't know why my stuff is floating, but... Uh, well, mine isn't, so... Yeah. My, my Once dice roller is the only thing that isn't uh, frozen down. Right. So, I, I, one thing I had a question about, um, if yep. you can show, is... We need a blank... We need an empty bag, and each one of us has to put our um, army dice in it. How do we do that? Hold on. Okay, so that's actually pretty easy. So I have my order dice here. And yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit objects, saved objects. So you've and saved one? Yeah, so here I have like US order dice. But here I have all the order dice. Okay. You see how that there? That's perfect, yeah. So how do I empty my, how do I get an empty bag? All right, so go to search. And folks, I, I, I don't know if this is really going to work, so I'm just, we're, we're shooting spitballs here. Um, but I think you can search in the bag and just empty it. Just keep pulling stuff out until... Well, there's an infinity symbol, so I'm thinking it's an infinity of it. Yeah, so I am, I am, I don't know how to empty it. So okay. I know on one of the other tables there was one where there was a finite there was the right amount. Yeah. So you know, there's also this thing here too. Go to objects. Yeah. And you have components. Okay. Yeah. And just type oh. in bag. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Sold. Bag. Done. Look at that. <laughs> so here. So I'd grab my eight dice that I would need to, or what in this, however many dice I need. But for my list here, I've only got, right, this is, we're just going through the motions. You'd grab the dice that you'd want. We can each chuck them in the one, not the infinity bag, which pitch this. Yeah. So here I'm going to put in my black dice, my black order die. Mm -hmm. And I just put in three, oh couple of them. Hold on. Hold and then, me. yeah, it makes noise. And then to shake the bag, I hit R. What? I need three of mine in there, right? Doesn't make a difference. Look. No, but what I, I'm just getting at is it, it'll be randomized. So I, I would... Put... Just guessing. It should be. Maybe you have to promote me. Is that why I can't put my stuff in here? No. Nope. Some let's shake it shake it up. Oops. Yeah, That's black. Running. Next one. I promote I did promote you. Okay. But you see here we're just pulling it out. Oh look, somebody stuck a D6 in there. Yeah. But okay. that's it. So that works. Perfect. Right. Then you go back to your book and like we said, you need the books. You need to know how to play the game, folks. And you start setting up your armies. So I'm going to put up this platoon right here. Um, you still got to use your ruler. 
Oh, so these we could just copy, right? Yep. So I can have one for me over here. Right. And remember, anything that's on the table, you can copy, cut, and paste. Um, but when guys are, or gals are building their armies, they just, they could do that independently. They mm -hmm. can download the DLC, go on, make their army, or just collect one of everything they need for the army, save it. But when it comes time to play, somebody has to open up the, um, the table invite the other player in, promote them, which is clicking on their name and, and they promote. Yeah. And yeah. then you could start taking the stuff you have saved. Start playing. And start playing. So um, now here's another interesting thing. I think you guys will go over tomorrow because we're talking setup, but we did get yesterday. If I want to know how far this tank is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. From... From this um, here mortar team, I hit tab, and it measures it for me. And it could either be closest to closest, center to center. Here it's you center to center, edge, right? Seventeen point seven. Yep. So you hit tab. Uh, well, yep. And there you go. And that's fourteen point five inches. You got to keep holding it down. Yeah. No, that's cool though. It's just yeah. so handy. Now, but for movement, obviously, it doesn't leave a spot, so... You can it doesn't, make, so then... You can, make, you can make a couple of these for movements and be good to go. I guess 12... Yeah, minutes, so so here's the thing. So let's say you're like, hey, I'm going to move it to... So go ahead and make a line. Yeah. Okay, for movement. I, I can always tab it. Now, now cool. move your model. Nope, move your model. Nope, you got to go back and and select the hand thing. Oh, up here. All got right. it, got it, got no. it, got it. Now I understand, now I understand. Okay. Yeah, so I didn't realize that this this is different here. Right. So Perfect. So essentially, you just do a little teamwork. And you're like, hey, man, can you measure? Or like, hey, I'm going to measure this. And then, like, drop a die and say, okay, that's a... That's or a you just, you just or you go, to, you go to where it ends and hit tab twice where it says 7.5, mm -hmm. hit tab twice. Yep. Okay, just don't move, don't do anything. And then I move it up to there. Yeah. Or you drop in dice. Or you use one of these. So, so you just, you gotta talk it out with your, with your partner. Um, yeah. Show the dice doodad, which I was skeptical of at first, and then now look. Dice doodad. So the dice doodad is, this one looks a little different, but whatever game you're playing in the game, as long as you have this black dice roller saved, you're good to go, okay? What you do is you select the amount of dice, and you see here, eight so, dice. Yeah, okay. so plus or minus the number of dice in the pool, yep. This is the part that's and it, it orders them. And it, it, it orders it. So in standard Dennis procedure, I only hit twice. There you go. And then the clear, you just hit the clear, and it clears it for you. That's, and that's, that's so cool. That's it. So that's all you need to set up. So like you can go during the day, just like we, and hit Easy Army or hit Forces of War or hit Force Builder from uh, Firelock. You know, while you're make, air quotes working from home. While you're working from home, <laughs> make your list. Go and then save your list. And you can save those lists for perpetuity, well, ladies and gentlemen. And then when Matt says, hey, let's play, either, and we, sh we didn't show you last time, but we kind of showed you how to build your own table. Mm -hmm. Because this box here has so many cool, look at that, a windmill. Yeah, I'm just, doing the, I'm just getting down to the first person, like, level in here. It looks like the old Battlefield 1942. Or, uh, yeah, doesn't that look cool? Or, uh, you know, do you know what's really kind of neat is you just put it like uh, about a foot over the uh, table and you just walk it through and you can see the, uh, hit by hitting the W key, it's really neat. It's almost like, yeah. it's like Hollywood. Now, that's, if you want a God's great. eye view, you hit, you hit P twice and it gives you the uh, top down view. Okay. I'm guessing you, so. it's probably more precise measurements. Yeah. 
And then so let's uh, say so let's say a mortar could fire forty eight. You could you you'd know that you're like okay, I, this is basically my radius here. I know you can't see what I'm yeah. doing, but I can see what you're doing. Oh, okay, that's really slick. Yeah. This is really really cool, really cool. Yeah. And then if you notice too, it kind of shows you a little bit where you can't see line of sight. Because here you can really get down to what the model can see. Yeah. Like I put a German infantryman smack dab next to um, the Lenin. Lenin. Yep. And I am looking at the guy's face. <laughs> so you can get that close and really get down and say, well, what can I see? That's and that's good. pretty neat. All so, right. Well, uh, Mitch, thanks. I hope this uh, gets everybody at least on the go. Uh, so they can play some bolt action, uh, so they don't get rusty. So that when this uh, COVID thing finally uh, finishes, we're uh, we're still well, their mind on the hobby. Yeah. 